Mark Christie here again. Today we're going to cover installing field service demo data into a Dynamics 365 environment. So as you'll see we're starting with a blank instance, no data. We've got field service installed but there's no work orders, there's no contacts, no accounts. So it's really just a fresh instance that we're starting with here. If you use the first link that's in the YouTube description here, we can go to the Microsoft website and get the field service sample data installer. When the download's complete, let's just open it up. Sometimes you will have to right click and unblock the file. Uh, in this instance I've not had to, so we can just double click on the file and extract it to our chosen location. Now that the file is extracted from the installer, we can just extract the zip file to another location. So when I created this video, one problem that I did come across was the UK data center, which is CRM 11, wouldn't detect no matter what credentials I used. A little bit of digging and I found out that you had to copy over the package deployer and the related DLLs from the Microsoft CRM SDK and just drop them into the field service demo data folder. Once running it from that point, it was fine and I could run the package deployer and log in with my correct credentials. As we're logging in now, there is one thing that you will have to remember. With the sample data, you have to edit your user file. When it comes out of the, the package itself, it doesn't have the users that are already in your system. So if you just update that information, I've also supplied the TechNet article as a second link so that you can just go in and update the details that are in there. I'm just going to double check that the user that I've mapped to does exist, and it does. So when I'm installing it, it's selected the correct org. It's gone through and it's done all its checks to make sure everything is in order before we actually start to install the sample data.
Now the sample data can take anything from 5 to 10 minutes to install, so I've just skipped ahead and run through the process so you'll see it's all installed now. We just click next and then finish and that will then allow us to go back into CRM and we can check that all the, the data has been added as we expect. With a quick browse of the entities, I'll be able to check that we have some dummy accounts, some contacts, that we've created some work orders that are service types, that there are incident types. It should all be there. I believe the package installs around 1,600 records over the span of all the entities that are required for field service. So now that you've got the data, you can then go on to do your testing, show any charts and graphs that you want to, or start playing about with it and learning a little bit more. Thanks for watching this field service tutorial. You should be able to pick up some more from my YouTube channel and you can check me out on our social medias that we're just displaying now.